If you guys need any coins at all to go ahead and make a last push for the Hall of Fame by upgrading your team, go check out bestmobilecoins.com. You'll get your coins in only a couple minutes and their prices are super cheap. Use my code SABER to get yourself a discount. Yo, what is going on guys? Sabretooth back on Mad Mobile and today I'm going to be opening up the rewards from this past weekend's weekend tournament as well as showcasing some of my favorite plays in head-to-head, -head, specifically play action plays that should help you guys make a final push for the Hall of Fame as the season winds down. Now guys, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a little bit. Uh, I have actually been feeling a little bit sick. You guys can probably might tell my voice still isn't feeling 100%, but... I'm trying to grind one out here. I'm just showing you guys right here the tournament rewards for next weekend. Get some game plans again. Proof coin, stack player pack, Dan Quinn, gold coach. Proof coin, I don't know about that. That thing, they're quite rare actually. You need six of them and I believe maybe six, maybe five to get a pack of 30 quick sells. Yeah, 30 quick sells. So this will be okay, but it's going to be tough to get the rest of them. I don't know what I'm going to go with there. Probably just Dan Quinn's because I use him. He's a uh, long pass, I believe. Here, the training points is actually not a bad option. 10,000 training points is worth roughly, probably around 30 to 40,000 coins. So that's definitely an option. Gold Brigade Pack definitely is what I'm going for. And on the last row, probably, without a doubt, the Elite Offensive Player. Now, let's get into the rewards from this weekend's tournament. That next weekend's player is going to be Doug Martin, just like I said in my video kind of a while ago. And we're going to take a look at my unclaimed items. You guys can see right off the bat, I did get Chris Boswell. I was lucky enough to be in the top 1%. I really grinded that out. I had to spend some of my Madden cash that I had earned um, on extra tickets. But I really only lost, I think, maybe two times the entire tournament. I had like 30 wins. A really, really good tournament for me. I chose the Jar John Harbaugh because he's run defense. Madden uh, Mint Daily Pack just because why not? I mean, that ne that doesn't really affect. I the first layer was horrible rewards in my opinion. But the third, the fourth, and the fifth were all pretty significant. So let's go ahead. I just need to check my locker room because I just need to see what coach I'm trying to choose here. I pretty much use three coaches, Dan Quinn, Ron Rivera, as well as John Harbaugh. I like Ron Rivera for head-to-head -head though, which is what we're going to be talking about today because he improves your entire defense on fourth down. And if you can lock them down on fourth down, then it's going to be a turnover. So that's why I really like Ron Rivera a lot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and choose him for my choice coach. Hopefully I can get him close to getting up to level 4 because once he gets to level 4, he's going to be pretty filthy. I just want to keep leveling up certain coaches. I would suggest you guys do the same as well. Streamline your sort of investments and such on 1, 2, or 3 coaches. And you can get some really, really powerful coaches instead of just spreading the love around. Chris Boswell, plus 1 kick power and kick accuracy to himself. Upgrades, I think, himself to an 86 right away as soon as we put him on the squad. So really nice there. And here's our elite stack player. Can we pull Luke Keekly? Let's take a look. I know some people have. Obviously the elite shake there. And it is going to be Malik Jackson. 83 overall D tackle. Not insane, but certainly not one of the worst players I could have gotten. I'm glad actually that he's not on defense. I per I mean not on offense. I'm glad he's on defense. And D tackle is actually a decent position for me because I do actually have the Dante Fowler Jr stack player on my dn right now so they will actually complement each other nicely so not too bad there i'm actually decently satisfied with that obviously i would have liked luke keekley but i believe these cards are non-auctionable a lot of people thought they were going to be auctionable like the cards like the uh, defensive elites we'd have in the past but these are non-auctionable but i should be able to find some use for this guy so honestly not too bad i'll take it i'll upgrade him to maybe an 88 89 maybe 90 should be pretty decent. Let's just jump into a head-to-head -head drive here and show you guys just like I had promised about some of these play action passes. Now, I'm currently around rank 3000 in the world like you guys just saw there. So I'm pretty decent at head-to-head. -head. I am already in the Hall of Fame, 11 million coins. So definitely these plays do work and I'm not the best player in the world, but these are just more plays for kind of like a casual player who's looking to grind it out for Hall of Fame. These guys these plays should really help you guys out. So we're just going to do a little bit of slow motion gameplay here. Start off with return middle. On returns, there, I'm kind of, there's a bit of strategy to it. If the ball looks like it's going to bounce into end zone, let it go. But if it doesn't, then you're going to need to return it. Because I usually like to let them go because you automatically get to the 25. I think I'm just going to swerve away at the last moment. But let's just go ahead and take it out. Because that one honestly was a little too... 
a little too shallow to uh, risk it. If it's really deep, it's probably going to bounce into the end zone. But if it's shallow, it might just bounce sideways and you're going to get screwed at like the five yard line. So every single drive, I like to start out with PA tight end corner. But I'm going to show you guys six different plays. Dig post, PA FB flat, uh, PA clear out. I'll show you guys later. So PAT tight end corner, you're going to start it out. By looking at your tight end and your fullback which one is going to be open you're going to roll to the right and we hit Niall Davis for 10 yards so that one you're always looking tight end fullback you're going to be rolling to the right now here we're on the right side of the field so this is a perfect time to flip we can either do PA deep attack or PA dig post the two plays on the left here we're going to go ahead and try out PA dig post because I prefer deep attack on sort of middle yard situations where the defense is blitzing and you can catch the catch them napping so here we're gonna look for the halfback right out of the backfield unfortunately he gets leveled and so do we going down with a sack there so second down and we're gonna need some decent yards so we're not gonna be able to go with any of these short dump off plays let's take a look at what play I want to run here so here once again we're gonna be looking primarily for probably the fullback or we're going to be looking for bird across the middle here and I think we're gonna look at bird we're gonna hit him with a lob pass Hopefully, we get, he's wide open, and Devin Wade makes a horrible throw. So, that's exactly what you, what you want to do on PAFB flat. Roll out to the right once again. Look for you, either your fullback or you're going to be looking for that guy cutting across the middle. Here on PAFL middle, you're just going to be looking for your tight end. Roll to the right. Hopefully, if you have a decent tight end, he should be able to beat his man. And Engram looks like he definitely has beat him. And wow, is Engram open. This card is so, so good if you guys haven't got already. We're just going to get tackled on purpose. I could have taken to the house there, but I just wanted to show you guys a few other plays. So obviously, PFO middle is a very solid, solid one. We're going to go with PA clear out here. And first thing you're going to want to do is check your opponent's corners. If they're slow, just hit your men deep. But I'm going to show you guys the check down route here. You're going to roll to your right and hit out your halfback out of the backfield. Davis wide open. Nobody in sight. Get a nice truck animation there and take it down just at around the nine. So if you have slow corners, just hit your guys deep. But I just didn't want to do that right there. Now we're going to go with PA deep attack. Flipped. And this one, you're just going to look at this drag right across by Bird. Whoever your player is there, just going to hit him. Very, very easy drag route. And so close to the end zone. But we can't quite make it in. So once again, we're going to unflip now that we're on the left side of the field. And we're going to go with dig post once again. See if we can capitalize here or this time. And once again, we get chased down this time. A hard counter. Unfortunately, we're going to go with PAFB flat, and this should seal the deal. Very, very cheesy play. Fullback wide open. There's literally nobody on his side of the field, and he makes the catch. We dive parallel to the goal line, but they do call it a touchdown. And bunch spacing will go ahead and get us a two-point conversion. Really the best two-point conversion play in the game. So, guys, that is going to wrap it up. Those are the plays I like to use on regarding play action. If you guys want to see long pass, short pass, and run plays in the future, just let me know. These are the money plays I like to use, those six plays. PAT, tight end corner, dig posts, clear out, um, deep attack, PFL middle, and I think one is slipping my mind. But you guys hopefully should be able to make it to Hall of Fame. Just abuse those plays. They're usually not countered. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and hit that like button. I should be able to push through this cold very soon. Thank you guys once again. Stay hungry, stay humble. Remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard.